with doing practice questions and practice passages, our objective is not to figure out where we are in our studying. Our objective is actually to study and to improve. All right, guys, Dr. Andre Pinesett, the pre-med protein expert, and I got a question from a student asking if they can reuse MCAT passages. Uh, they've run out of passages, apparently. I don't know how that's possible uh, in 2019 with all the different content you guys have, uh, but the answer to that is yes. And I say yes to this for a couple of reasons. And let's take a step back. When you guys are preparing for your MCAT, when we talk about passages, it's very important that you understand there's a difference between practice passages, practice questions, and full length tests. There's a big, big difference. And in terms of a practice passage or a practice question, we do one or two at a time. Whereas in a full length test, we sit down and we do six, seven hours of test prep. And what we're doing there when we do a full length test is it's exa exhausting, right? It's a grind. And at the end of that, you're gonna get an assessment, right? You're gonna get a score that's gonna tell you where you are in your studying. With doing practice questions and practice passages, our objective is not to figure out where we are in our studying. Our objective is actually to study and to improve. And so they're two entirely different things. And if you wanna learn more about this kind of stuff, you should check out my MCAT course because my MCAT course is all about question-based learning and how to use questions to the max to get the most out of them. And so that kind of, this approach to the MCAT prep using questions as your exclusive learning base, um, I think plays into how I answer this question in that, yes, you can reuse questions, but my whole thing is, is with all the questions out there, if you're doing question-based learning right, you'll not ever run out of questions because you'll understand that you get gains, your score improves, not from doing the questions, but from reviewing the questions and from reviewing the questions effectively. Now, there's a lot there, <laughs> but my point is this. Can you reuse questions? Absolutely. Should you have to reuse questions? No, because you should be taking more time to review them so much so that you don't have time to go through all the questions that have ever existed for MCAT. You know what I mean? Like in the exam, you've got a thousand and one practice questions, right? You To run out of questions, you've got to be mowing down questions in an ineffective way. And you may be in that boat or you may be near that boat or you may fear that you're going to be in that boat. And my whole thing that I would say to you guys is that you have been trained wrong. I know these companies got you hyped up, your schools got you hyped up, not understanding how to go about doing questions. And because of that, it's all backwards and you don't see the gains you want to see. And it's an uphill battle, it's a struggle and you're tired, and you're frustrated, and you're burnt out and all those kind of things. So what I would encourage you to do is understand how to do question-based learning. And to be honest, guys, I'm the king of PBL. <laughs> so if you want to learn how to do it right and how to use your questions to get the, the big gains, the big results, and to see big scores in your tests, I highly advise you guys check out my MCAT course. How to download the MCAT without an expensive prep class. And the course is amazing because it's only a couple hundred dollars. Very affordable. And it's a complete strategy guide. So all I do is teach you guys. There's no content in it. I teach you guys how to get away from content and books and all that kind of stuff and how to use questions amplify your score so can you reuse passages absolutely but you shouldn't have to reuse passages and let me add this one little caveat you sh can reuse passages and the reason you can reuse passages is because it's not about the content which is how a lot of people do questions they focus on oh do I know this do I not know this what's more important than the content is what is your thought process what are you thinking how are your critical thinking skills why did you miss it outside of oh I didn't know the content because that's where the high scores are in terms of their understanding of test taking. So that's what I advise to you guys. I'm Dr. Andrew Pineset, the Premium Project Expert. Um, if you like this video, take a second, like the video, leave a comment for me, let me know you're liking this channel. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you are a newbie, if you are new to this. It's all awesomeness, so dive into this YouTube channel, take advantage. I have so many free, awesome videos giving you guys real honest advice you guys can trust. So please don't let it go by you. And as always, live today like you live tomorrow, like you live every day going forward with a no excuses, just dominate mindset. No excuses, we just dominate. Thanks guys. That is it for this episode of Dominate Pre-Med. Show me some love by commenting in the box below and taking a second to like this video. Be sure to visit premedproductivity.com to learn more about my empowering courses, pre-med coaching, and live events near you. While you're there, grab a copy of my free ebook, check out my blog, and sign up for a free webinar. Being a pre-med, doesn't have to be filled with uncertainty and stress. You have greatness inside you. 
Let the pre-med put to the experts show you how to unlock it so you can dominate pre-med and get into the medical school of your dreams. I'll see you next time.